All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Inakin. Inakin has been around in the industry for years and years and years. I mean, as far back almost as I can remember. I think the original Inakin MVP came out in like 2000, 2011, I think was the first MVP, which was my first like daily banger of a mod. I just loved the thing so much. And Inakin has released a lot of great products over the years. Honestly, I mean, they haven't knocked them all out of the park, but for the most part, I feel like Inokin does a really good job and they do a really good job with innovating stuff as well. And one of the things Inokin is known for, I guess, at least in my eyes, is they always do everything just a little bit different than everybody else. Everybody else has like five clicks on, five clicks off. No, Inokin does three on, three off. Inokin just does everything a little tiny little bit differently. So what we're gonna be talking about today is this Chroma A kit with the I sub B tank on top. And that was not a clickbaity title for this video. I, I genuinely cannot believe that I'm about to say this about this tank, but this I sub B tank. The straight glass is like the rainbow glass. It's like this rainbow finished glass and I love it. I think it just looks so cool and so slick and I don't know why I like this rainbow glass on this tank so much. In fact, this comes with a bubble glass as well that is not rainbowy but gives you a bigger capacity and I choose to use the rainbowy glass and limit my capacity because aesthetically I like looking at this rainbow glass more than I like the bubble glass. Even though it gives me more capacity, it's just not rainbowy. Like if they had done it rainbowy, I'd probably be using the bubble glass. And, and, I, and I genuinely, genuinely cannot believe I just said that I enjoy the rainbow color on something. Anyway, this is a very, very cool kit that I've been having a really good time with. This one is obviously all set up. It's the stainless steel one. Uh, I have another one here in the box and I figure we'll just set it up. I'll show you how we set it up from beginning to end. So, oh. Oh, so close. Yeah, brand new Inokin Chroma A, I sub B, still in the plastic. Uh, Inokin stuff is always pretty nicely packaged as well. So on this side are all the accessories. O-rings, vape band, micro USB cable, exploded view instructions, quick start guide, warranty stuff, and battery stuff. Now, boom, there's your Chroma A kit right there. This is the gunmetal finish, which I think looks super dope. It's just a little bit darker than that stainless, which I've been using. Uh, I dig both, I dig that stainless too. There's your tank, there's your bubble glass, there's your extra coil head. The drip tip on this tank is only a 510 drip tip. It's not 810, which eh, that's kind of whatever. For this restricted lung hit, I would rather have a 510 anyway. There's that adjustable AFC on the bottom. Stops at fully closed, stops at fully opens, kind of glides around everywhere in between. And this is where we get to the part where Inokin does everything just a little bit differently. On this I sub B, you actually unscrew the base and then your 510 is the coil head and it just slides out of here and uh, O-rings there, keep it in, there's your coil head, and then there's that 510. Obviously, I would never, ever, never, ever recommend ever using this ever on a mechanical, like, hybrid mod, ever, never, ever, just never, ever, never do it. Ever, never! And you might not be able to see down into that coil head, but that is that plexus mesh. It's made out of canthal. It also has a little bit of texturing to it as well, which apparently helps with the, like, ramp up and cool down time. Honestly, all around really banging coil heads. So that's one thing that Inokin does different, and the second thing that Inokin does different is this top fill system. So to fill this, you're gonna unscrew the whole top of the tank, and that is where you're going to put your juice. And this little chamber here on the inside is spring-loaded. You can see right there, I'm pressing down on it. It's spring-loaded. When you take the top off, it closes off the juice flow to the coil head, and when you screw it back down, it's gonna reopen up the juice flow to the coil. I think that's super dope. And right now, this is that straight rainbow glass that Ah, again, for some reason, I really like. But I kind of want a little bit bigger of a capacity, so I'm gonna pop this off and we're gonna use the bubble glass right now. And there is a top and bottom to this bubble glass. The bottom, you can see, it's a little bit longer. The top, real short right there. It's longer because that glass has to fit down into that base. It just sits on one little O-ring. So filling this up with liquid is sometimes kind of a dangerous process. I mean, not dangerous like you're gonna get hurt, but dangerous in the sense that you 
do have the ability to kind of really mess up hard and just spill juice everywhere. First things first, a little bit of juice goes into that coil head. Don't go crazy, but make sure it's all wet in there. You see those flat spots on the coil head? That's gonna line up with these flat spots in the base, and that's how it goes in. And we screw that base AFC back on. And this is also something I've run into with this kind of like really open container top fill system is especially with the bubble glass. When I'm holding it like this and I'm squeezing it, you can actually kind of like accidentally squeeze this glass up and off off, and then you'll have juice everywhere. So don't grab it by the base when you're filling it standalone, just, just grab it by the glass. And I kind of like press the glass down. Like I'll grab the base here, press the glass down. Just, I, I just don't want it going anywhere. And now we can bleh. Here's all the specs from the website while we fill up this tank. I do like that the bubble glass gives you a four mil capacity. That's gonna be real nice after using that straight glass for so long. And I do dig that that Inokin Chroma A kit comes with an internal 2000 ma battery. And oh man, you can take this to the top. And again, this is this is the pretty critical part. This is where you can mess up real bad because that shutoff valve is spring loaded. When you put your cap back on, you kind of have to press it down and twist and keep that pressure until you feel it grab the threads. And then when it finally grabs the threads, you can just screw it together like normal. That has opened up the juice flow again and the bubbles are happening. Then on the Chroma A over here, you're gonna have your spring loaded 5 you have a big clicky fire button, adjustment buttons up and down, micro USB for charging. So these are your adjustment up down buttons for the wattage and it's when that thing with Inokin that they do that's different where you kind of have to hold it until this starts flashing and then you can adjust your wattage up and down. Oh, these I sub B coil heads do not need a lot of wattage. I haven't taken them really past like 45 watts even though the Chroma A can do 75 watts. Voltage resistance battery level indicator. It does have a full temperature control suite which you can access by pressing the up button and the fire button to go into temperature control mode. And if you do that again and keep holding it, it's gonna cycle through all of them. Titanium, stainless steel, and then back to wattage mode. I don't use any of that noise, so we're just gonna go straight back into wattage mode and we're gonna reattach this tank. It always asks you every time you attach something if it's a nickel, titanium, stainless steel, or the same coil. What I always do is navigate right over here to wattage so that it will go into wattage mode and it'll read the resistance fresh. So let's talk about ergonomics. This is ergonomic AF. It just fits perfectly in my palm. I hit the fire button with my finger, that's where the fire button is. Just as easily flip it around, hit that fire button with your thumb, boom, ergonomic. Less talk, more vape. The gunmetal color on the one that we just set up is beautiful. This is this is my favorite gunmetal color I think I've seen in vaping. It just looks so cool and it matches the tank. This has the bubble glass, the non-rainbow bubble glass. I just think this looks so cool and I love handling this tiny little Chroma A mod. I love how it fits in my hand. It's just, it's just so cool to hold. I, I like it. It looks slick and techy. I'm a big fan of it. In fact, the other version of the Chroma A, the one that comes with the Zenith tank, that kit is actually UL8139 certified, which is like, an electronic safety certification. And it is the only mod in the entirety of the vaping industry that carries that certification. Now, when I have a brand new tank that I just primed and I just filled up, I turn the wattage real far down. I've turned this down to about 30 watts and I just take some like brief, some shorter drags on it. The lower wattage means you're not gonna burn out that plexus mesh coil head on the inside just in case there's no liquid in there. And yeah, it's super weak, but once that juice starts flowing, that's when you can really turn up the wattage. The thing with these Plexus Mesh coil heads is they don't need a lot of wattage to really perform well for you. This is the 0.35 Plexus Mesh coil head, and I'm only gonna turn it to about 45 watts. This is loaded up with low rider from the FUG. I have the airflow completely open, and even with the airflow completely open, it's restricted. It's a little bit of a restricted lung hit, which I love. I love a good restricted lung hit. And it's just, it's just flavor. It's just flavor and vapor for days.
So satisfying. So satisfying. I, I love, love, love the Inokin Plexus Mesh coil heads. I think they're some of the best coil heads out there. And those coil heads teamed up with this restricted airflow, it, it's, a, it's a match. It's a match made in heaven. I genuinely just adore the way that this thing vapes. That final vape experience that I get from this kit is stellar. And other than having to slightly adapt your routine to the way that Inokin does stuff, remembering that it's like a three click on, three click off, and to adjust the wattage you have to like hold the button till it starts flashing and then you can adjust the wattage. Like I said, Inokin does everything just a little bit differently. So you do kind of have to adjust the way you do things a little bit, but I, I, I literally have zero Zero complaints with this whole kit. I cannot honestly think of one thing that is even a slight annoyance. Okay, you know what? That's not entirely true because filling the tank is kind of a slight annoyance. I showed you in the up close, but the whole cap comes off. So you have this big open container of liquid that is literally just being held together by the O-ring and the glass. So when you're filling it, when this top is off, just be careful. That's all, just be careful. So let us get down to the brass tacks. As it were, you're gonna need your vape budget hands if you wanna check out this I sub B Chroma A kit from Inokin. Uh, maybe a little bit. Clicking around the internet, I can find it anywhere from about 60 to $65, which isn't a crazy amount of money, but it's still a, a vape budget hands issue, I believe. Now, if we're gonna play the Aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, is the Inokin Chroma A I sub B something I would seek out and buy? right away? I mean, yes, unflinchingly yes. And not just because it's a great kit altogether, because it is a great kit altogether, but it's because this tank rules. And I can put this ISA B tank on a multitude of other mods. And this Chroma A kit is awesome. And I can put multiple, multiple other tanks on this little Chroma A internal ma, internal ma, how what? Internal 2000 ma or milliamp hour battery. I used to run my Chroma A with my K-Fun Lite Plus all of the time. The original Chroma A that I got is easily one of my most used mods. It's just very reliable and I can run like little single coil banger RDAs on it or maybe little single coil RTAs or mouth to lung RTAs. And it just vapes so well. The restricted lung hit on this, you guys, I, it's so good. Anyway, that is more than enough rambling from me. Links are not allowed in the description, so you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching. And as always, that's right, Chroma A. Let's keep on vaping.